okie dokie. So I fixed my little problem with my black ghost knife fish. And he was constantly hiding up there in the corner. I did have that fake vine plant up there. Um, he's been up there since I since I bought him about maybe a little over a week ago. I was getting really worried about him because um, he never moved from that spot. I think, I you know, and I put some hides in here. Oh, I've had some hides in here for my catfish right here. And right here. And over there. And back there. But he's still always up in the corner. So I bought the vines down here and put this little coral hide in there. And he is so happy. He's been going through the leaves and into his little tunnel and back behind there. So I am really glad I was worried about him. Um, again, I'm new to this. Any suggestions would be very appreciated. Kind words only, please. I do have kids that read this, and they do participate in the tank, and we work really hard on it. I'm really enjoying our new hobby. We have... He's almost nine inches, my silver arowana. He's super jumpy. Whenever I even, like, put my hand up towards the tank, he just freaks out. Um, my new... Akara marbled catfish. He is a fat ass right now. Um, greedy, greedy fish. I know he's way overfed. He actually nabbed all my other catfish's food, so he's like double ate himself. <laughs> greedy, greedy, greedy fish. And I have my red tail shovel nose catfish cross. He's um he's doubled in size since I've got him. He uh is about six inches now. I just love him, he's my favorite. We have my very large twelve inch spells and pleco. And somewhere in here I have a little pleco too, right there underneath them. They are buddies. So all in all, my stock is my black ghost knife, my silver arowana, my Akara marbled catfish, and my R. GC TSing my bread. Again, I have done lots and lots of research. I do know how big these um, animals get. I have already upgraded from my 55 to the 72 bow front, and I'm planning. I mean, I know I'm going to have to need something really large, but I think I'm probably going to go with an indoor pond just for the the money part of it. Um, I think an indoor pond, I could go a lot bigger for a lot less. So, um, I'm really enjoying this. I'm up to learning and would like to learn as much as I can about this. Kind words only, please. Please don't be hurtful. Again, I have children who help me with this and watch these videos. Um, I do want to get a good pump in here, um, maybe for some current. I'm having kind of an issue with poop. <laughs> I am constantly cleaning poop, and I've been swirling the gravel around and kind of netting up what I can all the time. Um, the one time I did make a mistake on, during a water change, I vacuumed up my gravel and uh, tried to clean it that way while well, it recycled my tank and brought my nitrates or nitrates way too far up and that wasn't good but it's fixed now. Um, any suggestions? Thank you for watching.